गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी विल सॉल्व बी पार्ट ऑफ सम नंबर सिक्स ऑफ एक्सरसाइज टू पॉइंट एट स्टूडेंट्स आई हैव नाइंटी एट रुपीज देयर आर नाइन नोट्स ऑफ टेन रुपी एंड फोर नोट्स ऑफ टू रुपी आई हैव टू पुट फोर्टीन रुपीज इन ईच कार्ड लेट सी हाउ मेनी कार्ड्स टू आई नीड I have put fourteen rupees in first card. How many rupees are left? Ninety-eight minus fourteen is equal to eighty-four. I have put fourteen rupees in second card. How many rupees are left? Eighty-four minus fourteen is equal to seventy. There are only ten rupee notes. I exchange one ten rupee note with five two rupee notes. I have put fourteen rupees in third card. How many rupees are left? Seventy minus fourteen is equal to fifty-six. I have put fourteen rupees in fourth card. How many rupees are left? Fifty-six minus fourteen is equal to forty-two. There is only one note of two rupee. I exchange one ten rupee note with five two rupee notes. I have put fourteen rupees in fifth card. How many rupees are left? Forty-two minus fourteen is equal to twenty-eight. I have put fourteen rupees in sixth card. How many rupees are left? Twenty-eight minus fourteen is equal to fourteen. I have put these fourteen rupees into seventh card. After putting fourteen rupees in seventh card. I am left with nothing. Fourteen minus fourteen is equal to zero. Student, you saw we used repeated subtraction method of division, and we did subtraction seven times, and our answer is ninety-eight divided fourteen is equal to seven. Since now we use non-standard method of a division, ninety-eight is divided into fourteen equal parts. I have nine notes of ten rupees and four notes of two rupees. Nine notes of ten rupees are not divided into fourteen equal parts, so I replace nine notes of ten rupee with eighteen notes of five rupees. Now I divided fourteen notes of five rupees into fourteen equal parts. Let's see how many rupees have I divided. Fourteen multiply five is equal to seventy. I have divided seventy rupees. Now count how many rupees are left: five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight. Twenty-eight rupees are left. I have four notes of five rupee and four notes of two rupee. Five note, four notes of five rupee are not divided into fourteen equal parts, so I replace four notes of five rupee with ten notes of two rupee. Now I have fourteen notes of two rupee. I have divided these fourteen notes of two rupee into fourteen equal parts. Now see how many rupees have I divided? Fourteen multiply two is equal to twenty-eight. I have divided twenty-eight rupees. Now count how many rupees are left? Twenty-eight minus twenty-eight is equal to zero. I am left with nothing. Student, now we write non-standard method in division form. Ninety-eight is divided into fourteen equal parts. First, I have divided fourteen notes of five rupee. Rupee fourteen into five is equal to seventy. How many rupees are left? Ninety-eight minus seventy is equal to Twenty-eight, twenty-eight rupees are left. Then I divide fourteen notes of two rupee. Fourteen into two is equal to twenty-eight. Twenty-eight minus twenty-eight is equal to zero. I have left with nothing. Now you saw. First we have divided fourteen notes of five rupee. Then Fourteen notes of two rupee. Five plus two is equal to seven. 
Students, now we use standard method of division. 98 is divided by 14. 8 at 1's place. 9 at 10's place. Now tell what times 14 equals to 98. Yes, 14 sevens are 98. 14 sevens are 98. Now we subtract 98 from 98 is equal to 0. Now student, you saw when we divide 98 by 14, we get 7 as answer. Students, you saw we divide 98 by 14 by using repeated subtraction method, non-standard method and standard method of division. And each time we get 7 as answer. Students, now we do verification. Dividend is 98 is equal to divisor 14 multiply quotient 7 plus remainder 0. Now we multiply divisor and quotient. 14 multiply 7 is equal to 98 plus 0. Now 98 plus 0 is equal to 98. We get answer is equal to dividend. 98 is equal to 98 and we have verified our answer. Students in homework you have to solve A, B and C part of sum number 6 of exercise 2.8. Thank you.